Good job. Good job, me. This is so cool. I never knew that I had this in me. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I made my first painting ever. Check it out, check it out. Oh, let's see. This is your first painting ever, huh? First painting of all time for me. Wow. I'm uh, happy with it, I'm happy with it. Are you? Good. My signature right there? I, yeah, I can't miss your signature. It's splattered across yeah. the whole thing. So, what is it? It's a red sky. We got the moon here, we got trees here, splatters of stars. Oh, those throughout. are stars? Yeah. They don't really look like stars. Well, you know, I mean, they're not twinkling or anything like that, but they're, I think they're pretty cool, don't you? Yeah, yeah, they're okay. Wow, it's not bad for your first. No, I mean, you know, it's just something that, that I decided to try out, and I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it. So what exactly happened right here? I'm still learning how to hold the brush and stuff, so. What's, what's this? The moon. It doesn't really look like the moon. Yeah? It kind of looks like a weird bowling ball. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't want it to look exactly like the moon in our sky. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe, maybe acrylic just isn't your thing. I don't know. I'm just trying it out, though, so maybe I could try something else. You know, maybe art's just not your thing. Just, I guess the thing that bugs me about it the most is it doesn't look like mine. Yeah. I don't really like it. But you know, it's your first try, so good job. Yeah, thanks. Maybe she's right, maybe I'm no good at this. Hi everyone, I'm Jane, and today we're gonna talk about how to utterly destroy your confidence in painting. Well, why would you wanna do that? Well, you wouldn't wanna do that. Now think about how I was just talking to Vince about his painting. Do you think that helped build his confidence? How would you feel if I were speaking to you about your painting like that? Or if a friend or a family member were to say those things to you about your painting? Whether you like your painting or not is beside the point. If someone were to say those things to you about your painting, it would make you feel really bad. It would destroy your confidence. And you may not paint for very long after that. In fact, I hear quite often stories about that one art teacher in junior high or high school or college who said something terrible about a piece of art that someone was making. Those people a lot of times end up not continuing to make art, so that's a perfect way to destroy art confidence. Now, believe it or not, when you speak to yourself that way about your paintings, you're doing the exact same thing. And this goes for when you show me your paintings, when you post them on my Facebook page, and you say things like, well, it's not perfect, or it doesn't look like yours, or I really screwed this part up, even if you follow it up with, but I'm pretty happy with it. Think about how Vince felt when I said to him, I don't really like it, but good job for your first try. Do you think that that would encourage him to continue painting or do you think that that would totally discourage him? Now, just because I'm telling you that you're not allowed to talk bad to yourself about your painting, just like no one else is allowed to talk bad to you about your painting, that doesn't mean that you have to like everything about your painting. It doesn't mean turn a blind eye to things that you need to work on or things that you don't like. It's perfectly okay to admit to yourself, I don't like this. But if you're gonna point out something that you don't like and admit to yourself that you don't like it, you have to be willing then to stop and look at it and think about it. Why exactly don't you like it? Do you need practice in a specific technique? Ask yourself those questions and then follow through with them. So let's see what that looks like. This is, this is ugly. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to paint and failing miserably at it as you can tell. Well, I mean, it's, it's the first time I've ever painted anything at all, ever, and I'm just not very good at it. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna try it again. I mean, this is your first painting, right? Yeah, maybe my last. So you're not very practiced at these techniques? No. Well, it takes practice. Tell me specifically something you don't like here. My moon looks like a, a weird bowling ball or something. It doesn't look like the moon at all. But what particularly about the moon do you not like? It's not perfectly round. Now you know you need to practice on making round shapes, right? Yeah. So if that's what you don't like about your moon, don't stop painting because your moon isn't perfectly round. 
figure out how to work on making perfectly round shapes. What else is it that you don't like about this painting? The branches here. I kind of lost control of the brush and this one's all messed up. But... You feel like you need some more practice with brush control. That's something you can learn. So I want you to sit down tonight with a junk canvas and I want you to practice making perfect circles and then I want you to get your brush that you make branches with and I want you to practice with that. Don't try and paint something particular. Just practice those techniques. All right, well, I'll give it a shot. I think you did a great job. Thanks. Maybe it's not that bad. Well, maybe she's right. If I just practice those techniques, I could probably do a much better job next time. I think for the first time, I'm pretty happy with it, actually. So in that example, Vince pointed out a few things that he didn't like about his painting. And I asked him questions, specifically, what is it that you don't like about this? It's not enough to just say, I don't like that. What don't you like about it? If you have something specific that you don't like about it, then you have a place that you can start for improvement. So he didn't like that his moon wasn't perfectly round, so he now knows that he has to focus on trying to make perfectly round moons. Another thing I hear a lot is comparing to other people's work. A lot of times people will post their paintings to my Facebook page and say things like, well, it doesn't look like yours, but I really like it. Or, I know it's not the best, but I'm still really proud of it. And that's great that you really like it, and that's great that you're really proud of it. But you shouldn't compare it to anyone else's. Not even mine. Don't compare your paintings to my paintings. Your painting is your painting. Everyone is gonna do it differently. And in fact, every time you do it, it's gonna be different. Sometimes I'll paint the same thing several times. Many of my paintings and my videos, I've done many, many times. Every time I do it, it looks completely different than the time before. Another point I wanna make is when you say something bad about your painting, when you share it with someone, you are giving the viewer permission and telling them to not like your painting. When you post your painting to me, I love it and it's perfect because you did it and you're proud enough of it to put it out there and you're learning something and hopefully enjoying yourself. But when you point something out and say, I hate this part or it's not perfect, you're telling me to look at parts that you don't like. You're telling me to look for imperfections. You shouldn't be doing that. They don't know what you intended to do and what you didn't intend to do, so there's no reason to point it out to them. Now for a learning opportunity, that's a different thing. If you post your painting to me, and like Vince, you say, I'm really proud of this, except my moon isn't perfectly round. How do I fix that? That's different. That's not talking bad. And at that point, I'm more than happy to give you pointers on how you can improve that technique. Wanting to improve a technique is totally different than bashing on your entire painting. So don't try and make anyone not like your painting. Let them decide for themselves. And if they like it, that's great. And if they don't like it, that shouldn't have any impact on how you feel about your painting. So I just wanna let you guys know that I am not happy with every aspect of every one of my paintings. In fact, I don't think there's a painting that I've put out to you guys that I'm perfectly happy with everything about it. In fact, there was even a painting recently that I posted that I was not happy with the outcome. There were many things that I wanted to do over and change, but I didn't have the time. But I was really unhappy with it, and I almost didn't even finish editing the video and put it out for you. I came that close to saying that I hated my painting and that I was gonna give you a video late. But ultimately, I did end up releasing it. And you know what? It has been one of your favorite paintings. Now, if I were to tell you which one of those videos it was, how do you think that it would change your impression of it? If I said, this is the video that I don't really like, this is the painting that I don't really like, would you then look at that painting with a more critical eye? And maybe you wouldn't like it as much, but I don't do that because I wanna leave it up for you to decide whether or not you like it. There's also paintings that I've put out that I'm really proud of and that I really like, and they don't get very many views, and I don't see very many paintings off of them. But that's okay, because I still feel proud of it. If you like this vlog, please give it a thumbs up, and maybe share it with someone who you think could use this talk. Leave me a comment below and let me know if there are any topics you'd like to cover in vlogs. Remember, on Sundays, I will be doing a live Q&A session on YouTube where you can ask me any questions that come up from this vlog, 
or this week's painting or anything else you wanna talk about. I'll have the live event scheduled soon so you can set a reminder so that you don't miss it. Also remember our Art Monster Squad t-shirts are available for pre-order until June 25th. There's a link in the description below to where you can pre-order your Art Monster Squad t-shirt. After the pre-order, I will have additional shirts available to send out to you immediately. So that link will still be valid even if you're watching this after June 25th. I have a couple other designs that I'm working on right now and I hope you guys like them. I hope to have them available soon as well. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. See ya. A big thank you to my lovely husband, Mr. Jane, AKA Vince. He does have his own name. Hi. <laughs> you were the master of awkward. And I do actually love his painting. And yes, he actually did paint this. And this was his first painting ever? If you don't count, you know, kid them, yeah. yeah. My first adult painting. And I was very proud of him when he painted this. I actually love it. And so it was really hard for me to say those mean things too. Yeah. I apologize. Did you mean it about the moon? I did not mean it about the moon. It okay. does not look like a weird bowling ball. He cried when I was being mean to him. Just a little. <laughs>